Hey guys, today I'm going to be unboxing the HGUC Biolant is sold from Mobile Suit Gundam Twilight Axis. So as you can maybe tell from the box art here, this is a premium Bandai kit and it is basically the regular HGUC Biolant custom with some new arms, new ankle armor, and a new head. So not really too much in terms of new parts for this, but it's a cool looking version of the Biolant and the HGUC Biolant in general. The, I guess the original, the Byron Custom, is a really, really nice kit. I really like that kit a lot. So I actually have the original and the uh, Byron Custom 02, and this will be my third version of the kit. So that's how much I like this kit. That should tell you something. Anyway, this kit is just, yeah, a P Bandai box, so not a whole lot on the box here. Just Byron is sold there on the side. On this side, just the list price. 2,800 yen, so it is a little bit more expensive one, but as you can see, it's a quite big HG box, so there is a lot of stuff in here, and the mobile suit itself is pretty large as well. So most of this stuff will be the same as the original kit, but here we can see on uh, this runner is some of the new parts because it has the new hand parts on here. So actually, this whole runner that we're seeing there is actually all new. This runner would be old, so we are going to have some leftover parts from this kit, I'm sure. I'm not sure exactly how much we're going to have left over, but there will be a fair amount of that. So there's some polycaps, more red parts, uh, light blue beam saber effect parts, some joint parts, things like that, light pink gray part joint parts, more light pink color. The color scheme for this kit may not be for everyone. And, huh, that's interesting. I was expecting to have just the regular Bylarnt custom manual and then has have like one new page for that. But actually we have just no manual for the original Bylarnt custom. We have just a, just a complete manual here specifically for this kit. So nothing in color, unfortunately. That would have been cool, but we do have the color guide here. It's just in, it is in Japanese and English, so you can read that, but we can't actually see the colors, but everything is listed there. And then we have our parts list as well, which, as you can see, has a lot of X's on it. So a couple there, a whole lot there on the B runner, a lot on the C runner, and a whole lot on the D runner. That is quite a lot there of joint parts and stuff. That's probably parts for the arms. And then a few more then as we go. So the construction is just starting off with the body, and then the head, then the arms, upper body is done, then onto the feet and legs, 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 waist, lower body is done, then the backpack, fuel tanks for that, and then the weaponry, which is basically just a beam saber, is pretty much the only weapon for this. So that's really simple enough, let's get into the runners. First up is our foil sticker sheet, which may be a little bit depressing to some people, considering that those are some pretty large color apps there. The majority of these is just little small ones here, little yellow, pink stripes, I can kind of forgive that, little black things, that's probably just for inside thrusters, not really a big deal. One there for the eyes, that's makes sense. But these big red ones are a little, little, little bit more cringe-worthy, unfortunately, but um, we'll see how they go on the kit. I remember those, I think those are pretty much exactly the same as on the regular kit, although I don't really remember how they were in terms of the quality of those. I think painting is still going to be your, your best bet for those. PC-132 for the polycaps, just here in standard gray. And then SB-1 for our beam saber effect parts here in a nice clear blue. Runner A is in that very nice, very light purplish pinkish color, light purple, I'd say very, very light lavender. This is all just parts from the original Byron Custom, so nothing new in this case. So we will have a few leftover parts that we won't use from this runner. Runner B, same nice color there for this, and once again, just more parts from the original Byron Custom, so nothing new yet. We do have two of this B runner as well. C1 is still no new parts, but this is in a kind of purplish magenta color. It's not quite magenta, it's a little bit more to purple, but it's still a pretty nice color. I think this kit overall will look nice uh, in terms of the colors that it's molded in. And then C2 here is a copy of this half of the runner. Runner D is just in a standard gray, just some parts here for the joints and detail parts, vents, thrusters, things like that. Runner E has a few parts here in red, just for like inside parts on the backpack and some thrusters, thruster on the back skirt, but this one actually we won't use. Runner G is back to the just standard gray color and it's just all our little piping parts for around on the kit. Some of these we won't use because they go in the uh, different arms, but this is in a little bit softer material. It's not quite polycap material, of course, but it's a little bit softer plastic that Bennett tends to use for HG 
kits with uh, little piping bits like this. And then runner H. Now we're getting into some new parts for this kit. So these are our first completely new parts for this uh, kit. The so the runner title here is uh, Barland is sold. Runner J, on the other hand, is much more interesting as this is uh, the majority of our new parts for this. So we have a four color runner here, some red parts there at the top, some yellow parts here at the bottom, some more of the darker purple magenta color there, and then the lighter purple color there throughout the middle. And then we do have two, uh, we do have a J2, which is a copy of this middle section of the runner here. So quite a fair amount of new parts for this kit. It's not just a small handful. We do have a a good amount of new parts, which is nice. So that is it for the unboxing. I'm really excited about this just because, like I said, I really like this kit a lot. Um, the past two versions of it that I've built, so I'm sure I'll like this one as well. Not really too big of a fan of these arms, which are basically like the original BioLearn arms. I'll talk more about that in the review, but I have plans to basically pretty much not use these ultimately on my build. I'll, I mean, I like the other new parts that this kit has, but those arms, not so much. So. For now, I'll just say thank you to you guys, as always, for watching. Leave any other questions, comments down below if you're wondering where you can buy this. Again, I got mine from Samuel Decal. I don't know if he had any extras aside from what he had on pre-order. Uh, you can shoot him a message and ask. Otherwise, I'm sure there's other uh, online retailers where you can find this. Just do a little searching and I'm sure you should be able to find it for a decent price. Like I said, the list price is 2,800 yen, so it's not a very cheap high grade. So I'm sure if you're going through like a, another some proxy seller or something, it's going to be probably up to 40, maybe even $50. So at that point, I would be questioning whether it'd be worth it to buy this kit over just the standard release one, which you should be able to get for much less, around 30 or less. But again, as always, it just depends on how much you really like the changes to this version of the kit. So we'll see. I've got the review coming up for you guys next after this, so stay tuned for that. And in the meantime, guys, have a good one. See you next time. Bye-bye. Hey! Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, if you want to check the kit out for yourself, you can head over to USA Gundam store. Use that coupon code, ZAKUARILIUS10. Save yourself 10%. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.